Hey, what's up everyone? It's Brandon from TopToneNeighbor.com and today I have a pretty cool product for you. It's the Sound Blaster X H5 Pro Gaming Headset. One of three gaming headsets that Creative recently released in their lineup, the H3, H5, and H7. The H7 is the surround sound version of this. This is the analog version. What do I think of this and are there better options out there? We'll talk about that in this video. All right, so I've been using my Yeti mic to record most of this video just because it's easier for my room setup, but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a sample of how exactly this sounds. Now, this is a noise reduction mic, so technically you should be able to use it in a noisy environment. In this house I have with my kids, I still pick up on some noise and, and things like that uh, in the background. I have been using this headset for over a month, so uh, when you come here, you get a little bit more out of the review, hopefully just because I try to use products for you know, more than a few hours like, like some people do. But uh, again, fairly good mic. Um, and I think that gaming headsets in general are improving in that area going forward. All right, here's a brief look at the software, which you can download at blasterx.com slash software. And before I get into this, I will say it was a little bit annoying to have to go to that website and then fill in my information. I had to give them my name and an email address. And then they actually send you an email. They say it'll come in the next hour. Mine came in about five minutes, but then they give you an activation code that you've used with the software to actually activate it, and you gotta put all that in. Whereas with some of the other Sound Blaster software, you could just go to their website. Anyway, I would recommend that they make that as easy as, as easy for the consumer as possible, and unfortunately, this was a back, backward step uh, from uh, previous models. Now, as far as the software is concerned, fairly cool. I thought they needed a music option here, um, also, we need more games. I mean, if you're gonna put games here, let's have more than two. I don't know if I'm just not seeing this right. Uh, Call of Duty and CSGO, no Battlefield. I mean, I'm a huge Battlefielder, so that's obviously a problem for me, but I thought it was pretty cool that you could at least put it in an FPS mode, and I thought it made fairly good sense how it was set up. You can click the demo here to see exactly how everything sounds, and other cool thing about this particular software, you can go up here and you can select your playback device to uh, put in some other options. Uh, I actually ran into some issues with uh, compatibility with so many Creative Sound Blaster devices installed uh, because I've got a good relationship with those guys that I ended up having some issues and having to uninstall some of the other software to get this one working correctly. All right, we're getting really up and close for you on the H5s. No fancy pictures. I'm not really into the panning in and out and all that. Maybe eventually when I get my own people working in here, I can do something like that. But for me, more practical approach is just to show you guys this thing heads on. And uh, as you can see, it's, it's a fairly good looking headset. It's not going to win any prizes for its design, but I like the uh, slick and uh, minimalist uh, aluminum design of this overall how it looks uh, a plus with me just because this is very much my style the detachable mic I like that too because I don't always like to have a mic on sometimes I like to listen to music I like the materials they used for padding the head headband is very well padded so are the ear cuffs okay and um, as far as comfort I felt it felt very very comfortable I used it over a three-month period it felt comfortable for about three hours a day. So take that for, for what it's worth. I have a large sized head, so that probably had a little bit of an effect on it. But uh, if you've got a medium and small size head, this probably doesn't apply to you. That's the hard part about reviews is that, you know, the wearer, the person reviewing is gonna have a different experience than what you are gonna have. But I'll show you kind of what it is. You know, if you, I've got a tall head, so it's going up over me. And this thing, the, the same aluminum, that's gonna keep this good for several years uh, is the same aluminum that was kind of pressing on my head. Now, over time, that could get better, but for me, just a little uncomfortable after three hours. Now, not everybody games for three hours at a time, four hours at a time, but I know that a lot of you do. So if you've got a big head like me, then you might wanna look elsewhere, but otherwise, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Overall, the H5, a great, gaming headset. I do think that Creative has a little bit of a pricing problem. At $130, you have the Creative H5. And here is the HyperX Cloud Gaming headset. Maybe not quite as good as the uh, Sound Blaster H5, but you know what? 
people are going to look at this and they're going to say, hey, this looks very similar, almost exactly the same, very big drivers as well. And it's only $80. And look at the clout that this has. Look at all these reviews. People like this headset. And you know what? This is a headset that I would recommend as well. So, you know, for $50 more, I think people are going to be hard pressed to go with the H5. Additionally, a headset it probably can compare to uh, toe for toe is the HyperX Cloud 2, which right now is only $97.99. So, what I would recommend is that Creative. Uh, actually move that price point down below the HyperX Cloud 2 more into the uh, $89.99 range. And I think there uh, it would be very, very competitive in terms of a product. Otherwise, I think that the popularity of the H5 will be slow going. Alternatives to this, if you want a little bit of better sound and mic, uh, you could go with the Mod Mic for both uh, the Superlux HD668B for around $42 plus 50. So around a $100 option in total. The Mod Mic plus the HD668B or the Sennheiser HD518s and a Mod Mic. And I think you'd have a better overall solution if you're willing to go that route. Anyway, uh, certainly a good option here in an all-in-one package is the Sound Blaster H5. I do think it needs to come down in price. If it doesn't, then I probably, it won't be one that'll make any of my uh, For the Money lists later on in the year. If you have any questions, uh, don't forget to uh, leave a comment for me in the comment section below. You can also go to Top 10 Gamer to get more photos, more information about this product, as well as all the other reviews we do and some more. I don't make a video about every single review I do, so go check out Top 10 Gamer and uh, get more information there. Like and subscribe if you like this or dislike if you just hate it and hate me, that's fine. But whatever you do, leave me a comment. Uh, again, like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.